Scott, what an ending that was. Uh, Conal Gallagher's goal, just amazing. Just tell me how you're feeling. <sighs> to be honest, I, I don't think you can sum it up in uh, in, in a few words. Um, I think the game had everything. Um, I thought we controlled the game for the first first half, an hour in the first half. Um, they come back into it in the in the sort of the last 15 of the first half, and we said to the lads at half time, don't let us, this be a game of uh, of us ruining our missed chances. So I thought we created quite a lot of missed, uh, quite a lot of chances in the first 30. Uh, second half we started maybe a little bit shaky, um, made a few subs, um, and with the squad we've got this season, it only strengthened us. Um, and again. Um, we said at half time, don't be giving away silly free kicks in in our defensive third, and that that ultimately cost us the the equaliser uh, for them. Um, but the character in the dressing room this season um, is really really good, um, and that that performance is what Ramsbottom is going to be about this season. Uh, you speak about sort of what you said to the players at half time. What was the message before the uh, game tonight? And uh, sort of, how was you expecting them to react from some this week, uh, last weekend's game? Well, ultimately, the, the the message before the game was Saturday wasn't acceptable. The lads knew that themselves. Um, we we are having to say it. Listen to little conversations of the boys in the changing rooms. They knew that themselves. I think after the second goal Saturday, a few heads dropped. Um, we won't accept that this season. Um, and the lads, you could see the togetherness in the lads from the minute they turned up, from the minute they walked through the gate getting changed, warm up, you could see the togetherness in them um, and, I, and I think we've seen that especially, there was there was a couple of spells in the game, certainly the last 15 of the first half and maybe a couple of five minute spells in the second half where we did have our backs against the walls but the lads dug in, um, we didn't give away any any sort of easy chances and, and I, I know the, the free kick was a, a bit of a sloppy one to give away but the, the lad who scored, what a free kick that is, um, I, I don't think I've ever seen our keeper Ryan Emma rooted to the spot speaking to a few of the fans that were behind the goal who said it moved left, right, up, down he didn't know where it was going, it was a great free kick but like I say, ultimately the togetherness, the team spirit to then go and get the winner in the 92nd 93rd minute, brilliant uh, A slight tweak in uh, personnel and a change of formation tonight what was the thinking behind that one? A um, couple of things really, um, playing in front of the home fans um, looking at our strengths and weaknesses looking at Obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a new new group of boys that we've put together, um, so we, we need to explore as many different avenues as we possibly can at the right times, up against the right opposition. Um, we don't want to be a rigid a rigid team where we constantly play 4-4-2, 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1, whatever it is. We, we want to look at, at, at different sort of uh, shapes, different ways of playing, different styles, different systems um, to sort of suit what we come up against um, and, and do whatever it takes for us to go and get the three points and ultimately the win. Uh, a debut tonight for Rich Whittingham. He got the assist for the last goal. How do you think he performed? Uh, yeah, he come on. He did well. Um, I, I think he's got. He could have possibly had one, maybe two himself. I've just had a chat with him in the changing rooms um, about that, so we'll get that clips and sent over to him. Um, but yeah, it was for Rich. It was um, an experienced head. Uh, somebody just to go in the middle of the park when we were getting tired legs. Somebody to go in the middle of the park, settle us down, get us back on the ball again, get us playing, make right decisions at the right times and in the right areas. Ultimately, Rick did that. Like I say, he could have had two of his own. He's got the assist, um, and he's just steadied the ship to see us through. Uh, it's Stockport at the weekend. What are you expecting from that one? Massive game, um, FA Cup. Um, don't read anything into them being in the division below. I think they got beat in the um, in the playoff finals last season. I know a few of the boys down there. They're a very very good side. Um, they're in a good run of form. Uh, they, obviously, it's on a three G. Both sides are going to want to play football. Um, it's going to be a great game of football and it's the best competition in the world. Cheers for your time, Scott. Cheers, boys.